the topics that are important to me, I think, are just what Jorge mentioned now is the immigration. And, and as I, I had mentioned to you in the past, uh, since the beginning of my career, I thought the political empowerment of Latinos was very important because that's one of the lessons that I learned in, in, when I started my career, that there was a tremendous need in, in our community to understand the laws, to understand the system here, and that people were going to depend on us uh, for this information to make their lives easier here so that they could integrate into society. So I think that's been one of my goals, to, uh, to inform and inspire and empower uh, the Latino community um, in, in different topics, such as immigration, such as voter registration, especially uh, getting out the vote, um, education, and you know, healthcare, all these issues that, are, that I know affect our, our community directly. And, you know, I think they appreciate the fact that we question politicians on these issues. Mm -hmm. They appreciate the fact that, that we care about them. Um, and, and it's important to me because I feel that I am reporting to and about a community that I am part of. Mm -hmm. I have family members who are undocumented. Why not say it? I do. I have family members from that in the past have been um, undocumented. Um, and, and, and immigrants, and you know, and, and with this thing with the immigration issue, and a lot of people say, well, you know, it really has nothing to do with whether you're here legally or illegally. What we don't like is, is, is undocumented immigrants, not legal immigrants. But this argument has spilled over and affects us all, it affects the image of the community, that very negative rhetoric, and that's why we defend it so much. And then many of us, as voters, we obviously don't have an immigration problem, otherwise we wouldn't be voting, we wouldn't be voters, um, but we have family members, friends, um, neighbors that are affected by this very negative rhetoric. Mm -hmm. And that's why this has become such a passionate um, issue, I think, for all of us. And politicians don't understand that. They think that it's our only issue, but it's not our only issue, but it is the most important issue for the community and the community's image. In my case, it has to do with, as an immigrant, I, I'm a privileged. I'm in a privileged situation because I, I have an, an immigrant with a voice and with a face, and many others don't have a voice and a face. So I think that, I think immigrant rights are human rights, and I always try to talk about that. I think it's very important to talk about the empowerment of the Hispanic community. Eventually, we'll have the first Hispanic president. Mm -hmm. And we are going from big numbers to power. And this is a new phenomenon in this country, and it's just great to see it. And then another issue in which I'm really uh, involved uh, has to do with democracy and in, in Latin America, coming from a country like Mexico where there was no democracy, where there's a lot of corruption. As a journalist, I feel protected here in the United States, and I am able to criticize from here what's going on in other countries, in Mexico, uh, lack of democracy in Venezuela or in Cuba, things that I wouldn't have been able to do in my own country, in Mexico, I can do it here. And it's great to be able to, to do that and then come back to the safety and security of the United States.